and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome hi i'm lauren i hope you stay and subscribe and join the fam if you have not already and if you're not new welcome back today i'm doing a very exciting video also a very requested video if you did not see i just unboxed the iphone 12 pro max on my channel a few days ago so i had a little bit of time to customize it and make it exactly how i want it to be and just get all the apps on here that i needed and everything so i'm going to be doing a what's on my iphone 12 pro max today i'm so excited to show you my christmas ios 14 customization that i did on here it's so cute i'm obsessed and i can't wait to show you and share all the little goodies with you i'm so excited so in case you didn't see my unboxing I'm just gonna give you a little overview. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max again Like I said, it's in silver, but really it just looks white if you can see and then I have the product dread silicone Apple case on it And I love this red. It's not like an obnoxious red. It's more of like a scarlet like cool tone red I love this so much and I'm so excited So I suppose I'll just start a screen recording for you and then get right into showing you what's on my phone Okay, I just had to add the screen recording button onto my little control center because it wasn't on there but here we go this is my lock screen it's just a picture of Keikoa and I and I think it's really cute so that's that <laughs> on to my first home page Everything that you're going to see in this video customized, such as all the widgets that I added, are all available on my website, which is www.laurendone.com. I'm uploading all of the free little icons, like the Tis the Season icon, the trees, the holly jolly, and then also some wallpapers for your desktop um, on my website for free for you guys to download. So that'll be linked below if you want to check those out. I have color combinations, like different ones, available. So if you don't like the green, there's also like a red and a white and a bunch of different options for you. So make sure you go check those out and to get them for yourself if you want to download them and use them as widgets on your phone because I think it's so cute and I'm more of like a muted red and green type of girl I'm not all for like the bright red and the bright green yes I love Christmas colors but I really prefer like the more toned down shades of those colors so that's what I created in these little widgets and they're so cute so starting on the top is just the little calendar widget that I added I made it a cream color and then put the green text so so if you want to know exactly the settings that I have on here, it's the month and date widget. The font is in Palatino. The tint color is a custom, just like dark green. The background color is cream and there's no border. So I added that as a medium widget and then added that on my home screen. And if you wanna know how to do all this, I'm, this is not gonna be the video for you, but I will link one of my good friends, Julia Christ's um, Apple customization video that you can learn how to do all these fun things. So if you're interested, go check that out. But on the home screen, I just have all the basic Apple apps that come with the phone, the ones that I use the most. So I have FaceTime, Calendar, Photos, Clock, Weather, App Store, Notes, which I use a lot you guys i use it to plan videos to make shopping lists to just do a bunch of stuff and then i have settings i have apple music i have phone contacts and then a bunch of random apps that i don't really need but i don't want to delete just in case i do need them in the future so i just decided to keep them in this folder that i can access if i want to and i know you can move it to like your app library but i chose to just leave it there because I don't really mind the random folder sitting there. And then I have the little Tis the Season green widget that I made. And I think it's so cute. It just adds Christmas vibes. Am I right? <laughs> and then onto the next screen, I have all of my most used apps, especially separated into different folders because I'm a very, very organized person. I like to organize things into groups and categories and stuff. So on the top, I have Instagram, which if you don't follow me already, you definitely should. It's just Lauren Doe and I post on there all the time. Stories, I always have a story on there um and i just posted this little selfie that i just took so if you want to see more updates and stories and posts and stuff make sure you follow me on there it's a little self promo and then my snapchat i don't really keep public i just use it for fam like i snapchat my sisters like every single day kikoa and i snapchat and i just snapchat some of my friends randomly but nothing too crazy and i don't really post on there on my story if you're interested in story updates and stuff then my instagram is the place to be <laughs> and then under that i have my shopping folder which i get a lot of use out of so i have paypal which i use for what do i 
use for PayPal. Oh, I use PayPal to like um, cash out for like affiliate programs that I'm in. So like my merch through Teespring, I can cash out through PayPal on there. And then just like random other things. I don't really know. I don't use PayPal that much, but I have to keep it on here just in case. And then Mission Fed is my banking app. Venmo, obviously, you know what Venmo is to Venmo. Your friends, if you want to know my Venmo, if you want to pay for my coffee tomorrow morning, it's Lauren Doan. I really appreciate it. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm just kidding. And then I have the Target app, which I love the Target app. If you don't know, you can actually, like, when you go to Target, you can put in your number, which is associated through your account on the Target app, and then you can, um, like, save all your items and stuff so you can purchase them easier next time, and you can also get, obviously, 10% offs and 15% offs randomly on, like, random brands. So, highly recommend the Target app. And then I have Poshmark. If you don't follow me on Poshmark, mm, I'm not signed in. As I was saying, if you don't follow me on Poshmark, you should. Also, it's Lauren A. Doan. I posted so many listings on there previously, and there's still a lot of things available. Everything below this point is sold, but I refreshed and reposted all of these still available items, so those are all on the top. So if you're interested, make sure you go shop those. I'm also going to be adding some of my old iPhone 8 Plus phone cases on there. If you're interested in those and you have an 8 Plus, um, make sure you follow my Poshmark. And then I have the Princess Polly app, obviously, to do some late night retail therapy. And then I have Etsy, um, which I use to sell my notebooks on, and then I use to purchase from like small businesses and stuff. I love Etsy. I love shopping on Etsy and then sell on Etsy is what you use if you are selling on Etsy. It's like all your analytics and payments and just a bunch of technical info. And then OfferUp. I love OfferUp also. I'm definitely going to be using OfferUp when I like have my own place and I'm looking for furniture because OfferUp has so many good deals and it's so underrated. It's just like a reselling app if you don't know what it is for like people um, in your town or your neighborhood or your city just to find cheap deals on things people are selling that they don't need anymore and then swipe i have a shop tagger which helps to find all of the discounts and codes and things you would have never known about exclusive offers and just to notify you when things come back in stock so like this is not sponsored by the way but i truly use shop tagger and i love shop tagger so like i found these high-waisted ribbed um, pants on Princess Polly and they kept selling out every time they would come back in stock they would sell out in like two seconds so I have them on shop tagger saved um, so that I can be notified once it comes back in stock because I really want to get them and then shop this is one of my highly most highly recommended apps that I could ever tell you about it basically you sign in with your email I believe and then it tracks all of your packages that you have ordered and it tells you it just has all the tracking info for every single package all in one app which is so so, so nice and I love this app so much. It tracks all my Amazon purchases and also when I sell notebooks, it tracks every single notebook on there so I can see which ones are delivered, which ones are still in transit, and like which ones are lost maybe, I don't know. But it's just very helpful and I love this app. And then I have magic links which is used to make affiliate links for certain items. So like if I provide a swipe up link for an item on my Instagram story, most likely it is a magic link link which means I will get a small commission maybe from the purchase if you purchase that item and I make the um, links through there. This is also a really good app for small creators or creators in general if you aren't into affiliate links yet. Um, it's super easy. You just apply and then you have to be approved and then you can start making links and it's just super super nice and then i have amazon obviously i spend my whole paychecks on amazon we're not going to talk about that and then i also have an amazon storefront which is kind of besides the fact but still relevant um i will link it down below it basically has everything that i have like everything that i got on amazon that people want to link like for example this apple watch band so many people asked for this link and it's on my amazon storefront so if you want to find it just go on there and there's the exact link that you can get it from just along with a bunch of other home like room decor items from amazon and a bunch of stuff like that i always post stuff on my storefront interest i have been getting more into recently if you want to follow me you can but like i don't do too much on here it's just lauren doan and i have a bunch of different boards that you know just very random but if you want to follow feel free <laughs> and then i have this school folder which is not very interesting but i have the one login which is like you have to verify that you're the one logging into your school account every single time it's really stressful and right now since i did get a new phone i have to figure out how to transfer my one login from that phone to this phone because it's a whole process and i'm not looking forward to it and then i have the normal things like docs sheets slides 
Google Drive, and then Canvas, which is the grades portal and like assignment portal that my school uses, and then Google Calendar, which I use so much to organize and plan everything. I put all my classes on there all the times, and then like every time I have a video due, I put it on my Google Calendar. It's just so nice, so convenient, and I love the Google Calendar. I live with it. It transfers from all your devices, so I have it on my phone, my iPad, and my laptop, and it's all um, in sync, so everything is on every single device, so it's really nice. And then obviously YouTube, don't really have to say much about that, but subscribe if you haven't. And then YouTube Studio is what um, YouTubers use to see their analytics, to see their revenue, to see comments, to see everything. YouTube Studio is where all the info is at. I don't know where I would be without YouTube Studio. And then Waze is just a GPS app. Uh, I prefer it more than like Google Maps. Sometimes, I don't know, it just really finds the quick quickest route for you so like if I'm going to school in the morning then I will use Waze because it will take me like off the freeway and go through side streets and stuff to like dodge traffic which is really nice. Pandora, I use Pandora a lot actually even though I have Apple Music. I just like Pandora because it has playlists already for you and it's just so easy to find new music on there. And then my editing folder is also one of my most used folders. Um, I have Visco which I really don't use that much. The only thing I use it for is to edit, um, like if I take an Instagram story or something, like a video, I can put filters on the video which is really nice but that's really all I use it for. <laughs> I also have some like really old pictures posted on my Visco from when I used to use it so yeah but I don't really use it. Google Photos. I highly 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 recommend Google Photos also if you are someone who runs out of storage really often. Google Photos basically transfers all your photos from your phone into Google Photos and it clears up so much storage on your phone. I think I pay for like a okay for the longest time I did not pay for a storage plan for Google Photos but then it got full because I just just had so much on there so then I paid like I think 99 cents or something for an extra 10 gigs something crazy like that and it was such a good decision because now you can so easily like delete photos off your phone and make out so much storage because it all transfers onto your Google Photos so it's super easy. Facetune I use to like whiten backgrounds and stuff that's really it. I don't edit anything else. I like add detail to some pictures. I don't know just really random but mainly to like whiten things like backgrounds. Collageable is the collage app that I use to make my thumbnails and then Lightroom. I I can do a whole video on how I edit my Instagram pictures if you guys are interested. I get a lot of questions on that, but I don't know who's actually interested in it and would want to see it because I use presets. So yes, I still make like individual adjustments to each preset when I use it on a certain photo, but I think it'd still be interesting maybe. So if you want to see that, let me know. Feed preview is what I use to plan my Instagram feed. So I'll just upload all the pictures on here and it'll show me what it would look like if I posted it. Camera connect is what I use to transfer pictures or videos from my camera onto my phone very helpful unfold is what i use for my instagram stories so i just have a couple templates on here and i just make my stories for my when i promote a new video vita i talked about this in my last vlog i believe or one of my last vlogs i don't really remember but you can just make super super easy like really cool instagram stories or intro youtube intros and it's completely free i love this app it's so cool it has so many cool effects and stuff too for like the aesthetic instagram stories and then i have light leap which is such a cool app basically you can just add clouds onto your pictures along with a bunch of other stuff. But I found out about this through um, my friend Maddie. She added clouds to one of her pictures before and it looked so cool. So one picture I did this little heart cloud <laughs> and you guys thought it was real and I you guys are crazy but you can change it to look more real you can shift a bunch of stuff and then i don't know it's just really cool and you can make it look pretty real like i guess i made mine pretty real for you guys to be able to think that i actually did make it and there are a lot of ones that you have to pay for but there are a lot of free ones then i have my food category which is also one of my faves i am like a rewards member for all of these places basically which is why i have the apps because you can get free food so easily so these are like a bunch of my favorite places chick-fil-a obviously i'm like a silver member i think think and it's 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 an addiction and then i have yelp to find new food places around me um rubio's doordash to doordash food if i'm incapable of going to get my own chipotle blaze pizza luna grill and starbucks obviously can't live without my starbucks app <laughs> okay last folder is a random folder which is where i keep like my games and then random random apps so fantasy football i'm in a league with my family i'm currently in first place which is i mean i guess i'll look at that i just beat Brittany. 
But yeah, it's just a really fun family thing that we do every year. I guess we like pitch in 20 bucks and then winner gets all the money. It's just really fun, even though I know nothing about football. And then I have the Choose Fitness app, which is my gym app, um, just to sign in and like get points and stuff. I have Awaken, which is my church app, so I can listen to past services and like um, podcasts. And this is the app that I use to tithe, so it's very handy. And then I have Audible, obviously you know what Audible is. And then Capital One, which is my credit card company, Credit Karma, to check my credit score for free. And then Among Us, which is obviously. And then I just have Widget Smith, which is the app that I use to add all these widgets on here. So, oh, and then on the bottom, my most four used apps are my messages, Gmail, Safari, and camera. And that's all. So yeah, like I said before, if you want any of those widgets, um, like those Christmas themed ones, I have them all on my website for you guys to check out if you're interested. They're free. All you have to do is download them onto your device. And yeah, make sure you comment down below and let me know if you want to see how I edit my Instagram pictures and thumbnail maybe. Maybe I'll like combine it into one video because those are both very requested. But let me know if you want to see those and I'll definitely do it for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful for you in any way. And I want you to comment one app that you can't live without. Just one app that you think not many people know about. So like don't say TikTok. Don't say Instagram. Tell me like an editing app that you guys live by or like a self-care app. I don't know. Something interesting that everybody should download themselves. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. can be the muse. I'm the reporter, baby. You can be the news. Cause you're the cigarette and I'm a smoker. You raise a baby.